Hi friends, welcome to the Talented Creators Collaboration for August, hosted by DIY with Aria and Lolly D Creations. Special guest host myself, co-host Grace's neighbor Sharon. Links to all the hosts and the playlist will be in the description box. Okay, so at least one DIY has to have mirrors. So I have five octagon mirrors from Dollar Tree. Uh, four of them have this beveling. Dollar Tree used to have all their mirrors with this beautiful beveling, but they stopped and now they just have these plain. So what I'm gonna do is um, make a decorative um, planter out of these and try to get these um, adhered together by the edges. And I have, this super glue epoxy five minute setting. I found this at Dollar Tree as well. So I just have to um, mix it up and use it uh, before five minutes is up. So I'm gonna go ahead and you have to do equal parts. I'm gonna mix it in this little um, lid and get my edges put together. Only one side is moving, so I guess this is a bust. I guess I had it too long, because there are little spots on the packaging. So I have to get my fix-all. So I just add my fix-all to um, each mirror on the bottom, the very bottom edge, and then adjoining left and right side that will be connected to the next mirror. And then I have some uh, paint bottles that I will use to hold the mirrors up while the glue is setting. So just for added security, I'm gonna snip toothpicks and place one in each of the corners just to make sure that there's a connection from one mirror to the other because Dollar Tree doesn't make all of their mirrors and boxes exactly the exact same size. So I just wanna make sure that there is a connection for each piece and that when I pick this up that one of my mirrors isn't just gonna fall apart. So I left this to set up overnight just to be sure that everything had thoroughly dried and that the connection was made for each of the corners and it looks great. It doesn't feel shaky when I pick it up. So now I can move on to adding some floral foam and then I'll add some beautiful fall florals inside. Okay, and here is my completed mirrored vase. I love this. I really love the beveled look of the mirrors. I wish Dollar Tree still sold the beveled mirrors, but anyways, I like how my vase turned out. This video is part of the Talented Creators Collaboration hosted by DIY with Aria, Lolly D Creations. I'm the guest host and the co-host is Grace's neighbor, Sharon. Please check out these ladies' channels for wonderful DIY inspiration. For this DIY, I've got some neutral ribbon from Sam's. 
some pumpkin ribbon from Dollar Tree, brown paint, uh, brown oxide, and then orange. I wanna mix these together, vivid orange, to make like a rusty color. Two packages of corn, faux corn from Dollar Tree, one of their uh, pumpkin wood signs from a couple years ago, a maple branch, a few bits of maple leaves from Dollar Tree, and then these um, beautiful cursive stencils I found at Michael's during Clarence Martha Stewart. So I want to add my corn to the top and um, have a nice uh, big ribbon holding them together and I'll probably end up stapling them to the top and then I'm going to have like hello or welcome down my sign and then I will add maybe some maple leaves at the bottom. So first I need to gauge how much ribbon I'm going to use. So I'll take just three of the corn pieces and just gather them up and pull some ribbon out. And then once um, I make the bow to see about how much I need, I'm going to go ahead and snip the ribbon and then I'll get my corn tied together uh, the way I want it to look permanently and um, I'll just put some twine around it and then I'm going to take my larger ribbon and glue the smaller ribbon with the little pumpkins down the center of it. So I'm just gonna make a simple bow. That's really the only bow I know how to make. Maybe one of these days I'll get a bow maker. But um, I thought just it would be appropriate just to make just a simple shoestring bow for this because I don't want anything too large to take away from the visual of the corn and to really block the, um, the uh, cobs too much or any of the husk on top. So I thought just a simple little bow on top would be just a nice little decorative accent. So just placing down my letters, I'm just eyeballing this and not using a ruler so it's like perfectly centered or anything. But since I'll be using the L twice, I will just use another letter just to substitute just for the spacing for when I put down the O. Okay, so now to make my custom like rusty autumn color, I'm just adding just not too much brown with this vivid orange. And then once I get it thoroughly mixed, I'm just going to apply it with this foam brush from Dollar Tree. So after I got the L painted and I tried to pull up the T below it so I could move my L stencil down, I was having some trouble removing it. It took me a bit to get it pulled up and it finally came up. And I was like, "Woo, Martha Stewart is not playing with the adhesive on these stencils. They are super duper sticky and you don't have to worry about anything bleeding through or them moving. The adhesive on, this, on these stencils are very strong.
So I let my um, paint dry thoroughly. And then I took a couple of these maple leaves. And since I'm going to have this liner on my porch, I used the fix-all glue so it would have a more permanent hold and not fall apart like hot glue. And um, I just added some to each of the leaves. And then I ended up putting something heavy on top of them just to make sure that they were properly secured down to the board. And this faux corn leaner will just be paired with this little wagon filled with faux fall veggies that I found at Dollar Tree. I think this is such a cute little sign for my entry porch. Let me know what do you think of my sign. Okay, so for this DIY, I have a new purchase. Everything I've been using so far is just old stuff that I've had in my stash, but I saw this cup at Dollar Tree and I just had to get it because I am a huge coffee lover. Love my caffeine, have to have it. Um, nice pumpkin detail cut out here. And I thought, you know, Dunkin' Donuts is my favorite. I wanna make this into a Dunkin' cup. So I have a Dunkin' Uh, Baskin Robbins napkin and so I always get the either iced or frozen coffee and those cups have the Dunkin across here um, on just the plain hot coffees I do believe they have the Dunkin this way but um, to leave our little pumpkin design here I'll go ahead and I'll cut I'll decoupage this part and then instead of just leaving like the white sippy lid i have um, a little bit of um, spackle two different types of spackle so i'll um, make a faux whip out of that and just cover all of this portion with the faux whip and then um, i have these glass beads um, to use as like sprinkles just to make it a little more visually um, appealing than just having just the whip by itself Since I only had a little in each container, I just went ahead and combined them to see what would be the total. And then I have a brand new container, non-crafting spackle for my house that I ended up having to scoop some of that out. And it's the one that starts out pink, but once it dries, it turns white. For the middle portion, I added antique white, and as I was painting it, I realized this is almost exactly the same color as the natural wood. <laughs> it did cover up some of the little paint smudges, the orange paint smudges that I, I did create, but then I just added a little bit of white um, just to make it look just a little bit different than just the plain wood. So once all that paint dried, I had mixed up all of my spackle together and I put just a little bit of white paint in it as well. And then I'm gonna get it all scooped into just a regular plastic sandwich bag and then nip off uh, one of the ends and just use a pouncing up and down motion to apply it to the top of my coffee cup. I have a love-hate relationship with those Dollar Tree um, icing tips sometimes they work for me and sometimes they don't i just i think the next time i go to walmart i'm going to look for one of their like wilton tips i think they carry wilton products and just have something that i can use for crafting that's uh, very reliable 
So once I finished all my faux whip, I take this fine iridescent glitter that I found at Michael's to sprinkle all over my faux whip. And then I take my glass beads and add um, pretty much all of the colors here and there. So it looks like, um, like chocolate and um, pumpkin spice sprinkles and once I get my beads sprinkled on top I press them into the spackle so once it sets up they will be secured and dried inside of the spackle. The faux whip is partially dry. I'm gonna go ahead and decoupage the Duncan over my little pumpkin. I don't have enough room to add the little Baskin Robbins sign, so I'm just gonna get this done with some matte Mod Podge, and I'll, initially I'm gonna cut around, and then I'm just gonna like nip around with my finger so I don't have like a straight edge all the way around, all the way around my word, and just get this set with matte Mod Podge. So much my decoupage area was dry and all my faux whip was fully dry, I took a piece of twine and a Duncan straw that I want to add to the back. And I just wanted to see where about where I wanted to have it. And then I just snipped it, <clears throat> a piece of it, and then just hot glued it. And then I'm adding the piece of twine um, in the area where the original hanger was, but the original hole was covered by the faux whip. So this will just be an invisible hanger in the back. And I'll just hot glue this on and then I'll add a couple pieces of cardboard just for added security. And here is my completed jumbo pumpkin spice Duncan faux whip cup. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> I love this. Let me know what do you think of this fun fall piece. And here's another look at the other DIYs from this video. These were so much fun to create. I love that it was totally up to the crafter, whatever they wanted to do. They just had to use a mirror for one of their DIYs. Don't forget that there will be a playlist and I'll have a link in the description box to all of the hosts and the wonderful playlist. I can't wait to see what everyone made. Have a blessed fall season.